everyone. Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got two very, very special guests. We got Julian Huff and Jawan Smith. How y'all feeling today? Great. Good, good. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, again, thank you guys for taking the time out to talk with us for with Community Voices. And, you know, you guys have been doing amazing work. So looking forward to, you know, letting the world know the kind of work you've been doing. So, uh, yeah, we can start with Jawan. So what exactly does, for the people who don't know, uh, A Thousand Ties do? So 1,000 Ties is an organi organization that's set up for young men to teach them life skills, starting with something as simple as a tie. So the goal is to eliminate barriers and open up doors and create opportunities for our young men. Amazing. And Julie, I know you've been like a, a mentee and a mentor, right? So how long have you been like associated with A Thousand Ties and what kind of impact has it had on you? Well, I've known Joan since I was about 14 years old. She's literally seen me blossom into a young man. Um, I met her my freshman year of high school and I finished high school. I graduated and I was the first recipient of the scholarship that A Thousand Ties gives out. And now I'm also a mentor now that I've graduated college. Um, I graduated from Miami University. I went to New Tech, East Tech in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, I've just been a mentor and been, you know, really trying to teach some skills to the youth that are a part of the program because I believe that giving back to our youth is really essential. You know, people gave back to me, so it's important to give back to them as well. Absolutely. You basically just, you know, paying it forward. You know, the, the kind of time and investment they put in you and now you put it into others. So that's a beautiful thing to hear. And then back to Jawan. So what, you know, motivated you to start A Thousand Times? So I started doing this work after watching my son teach himself how to tie a tie on YouTube. And as a single mom, you know, I didn't grow up with a father in the house nor any brother. So I never learned how to tie a tie myself. So it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit as a mom that I, there was something that I didn't know and he had to go to YouTube. But it got me to thinking that he's not, I know he's not the only young man that does not know how to tie a tie. And, you know, all the other skills, you know, handshaking, eye contact, Communication is kind of a lost skill because technology is taking that away. So my goal was to try and reach these young men and help them learn these skills so that we can eliminate barriers because you have to be able to interview and network and engage and build relationships so that you can apply to colleges, apply to high schools in some situations, apply for scholarships, apply for jobs. So it all came from watching him watch, learn on YouTube. <laughs> It's crazy, and it's very true what you mentioned with technology. Like nowadays, you know, you just send a DM or, you know, send an email. It's like it's hard and, you know, almost like it's had a, a lost skill of, like, that real in-person communication, which, you know, um, people are lacking. But with a thousand times, you're bringing it back, so. Yeah. So. That's the goal, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so for <laughs> Julian, how has, like, you know, a thousand times changed your life? Like, think about where life was before and then after. I mean, I think it was really important to have like a community aspect. So for me, um, I grew up in like an all white suburb and then I transferred to an inner city school in high school. Um, and when I was at that all white suburb, I didn't really feel as if I had really a community, you know, I didn't really feel welcomed. Whereas when I went to that inner city school, I felt welcomed. I started meeting people who supported me and saw the potential that I had. And I feel like before I went to that school, no one was really noticing my potential or helping me foster that. So when I went to this school and I met new people and I met, you know, parents of my friends, because I also know Jawan's kids, um, it was really important because one, it let me know that these people see potential in me. So that helped me find out who I was as a young man. And the second thing is like having a community behind you. It's like when I take one step, I understand that I'm not just stepping by myself. I'm stepping with a whole group of people behind me. And that's really important and powerful to know behind, you know, in your head, because if you feel like you're doing something alone, it can be quite scary. But if you know you have people supporting you the entire way, it makes you really want to go out there and get it done. And mm -hmm. that's why it was so important for me, you know, with a thousand ties and then just going to the school itself, because I have that community, that support, that family and family is really important for me and for a lot of others, because it takes a village, you know, to get things done. So, yeah. Especially like I like how you mentioned you just had like your whole family and friends, you know, behind you guys like, you know you continue your journey. So that's very important because like you said, it takes a village, you know? Yeah. And then of course, Jawan, what are some like the biggest barriers that a thousand times face? And like, what are like some of the most common issues 
you face, you know, handling this, you know, uh, philanthropic effort of yours? Well, I would, most people would probably think that the family engagement piece mm -hmm. is the biggest barrier. But for us, we have 100% parent participation. And the reason we have that is because our program is family-based, like Julian said. When we have our events or whenever we have outings, it's for the whole family. So yes, the young man is in the program, but we have out outings for the parents. We have activities for the siblings. Mm -hmm. So we make it about the whole family. I know as a mom, like that was a barrier to me participating in stuff with my children. Like, oh, I got to get a babysitter for the other kid. You know, there's, you know, I got to drop off and I got to come all the way back and pick up. So that was one of the things I wanted to make sure that wasn't a barrier for the thousand high families. And then also, if the young man is learning something, it's beneficial that the parent learns as well so they can go home and work on it together. So, yeah, we taught you how to tie a tie, but we're going to teach your mom and your brother. So when y'all right. all go home, everybody can tie a tie. <laughs> so it's all about, you know, that whole community and family and embracing everybody. Um, some of the barriers that we do have, you know, of course, funding. But, you know, we do as much as we can to try and get the funding in and we get a lot of great volunteers that volunteer their time. So it's, you know, a process of growing and, you know, getting the word out about the work. But I would probably say our biggest is probably the funding. But mm -hmm. the one barrier that people would probably think, which is family engagement, people always say the parents don't come out. Our parents come out. Amazing. Amazing. Cool. And then uh, last question for you, Julian. So. How, do, how has your experience been as a mentor and what words do you have for like kids in the program now who want to, you know, aspire to be like you? Um, it's, it's really, you know, it's surreal because, you know, I was, you know, in that position before, like I have mentors now and it's, I don't know, for me, it's different because when I talk to someone and they're like, oh, I want to do what you're doing and I look up to you, it just gives me a whole different perspective, you know, because when I was younger, I was never really like, oh, I'm going to be this and that, or I'm going to aspire to do this or uh, mm -hmm. achieve these accolades at this age. Um, so it, it's something I'm still getting used to. I'm, I'm quite young. I'm only 20. I'm still figuring out life myself. But what I'm figuring out is like, if I can talk to these youth and tell them the things that I've went through, it doesn't mean that they're not going to have like the same mistakes or have to go through the same obstacles. Yeah. However, I can help them navigate that better. Whereas like, you know, sometimes I didn't know how to navigate things. So I might have done something that was totally out of pocket. Whereas if I can talk to these youth and show them like, hey, this might happen to you, but here's how to navigate it. It can make their life so much smoother and open up a lot of opportunities. Um, and then on the other end of it, like being able to connect with them is really nice because like, although I am older than, you know, the kids in the program, yeah. me and uh, my, my mentee, like we watch some of the same shows. Like we both watch some animes. So like, you know, like I can still relate to them on a whole nother level that, you know, someone who's older might not be able to. So right. I think that's really important because it helps the youth and uh, the mentee feel, you know, trusted with their mentor. And that's really important because if you don't, if you can't trust anyone, you're not open to sharing with them and you can't really take it to that next level. So it's just been like a great feeling. And I'm glad I'm able to give back because like I said earlier, someone helped me. So I got to help somebody and then hopefully they help somebody. And that's just how it should be. You know, exactly. You know, be the change you want to be. And then, exactly. You know, yep. That goes on to the next person. Last question for you, Juwan. So what would you say is the, what would you consider the greatest accomplishment or achievement with a thousand times? I have had a total of 20 boys get full scholarships to college that were not even planning to go to college at all. I have had over 50 young men get jobs right out of high school. So those are, are my benchmarks, the successes. They take the skills and they use them and they obtain and reach goals. So mm -hmm. the admissions to college, the scholarships, the employment, all of those are wins for us. Yeah. And that's like, you know, such a big deal, especially with college, because, you know, giving kids the, the avenue to continue their education and become, you know, great thought leaders in their community. So it sounds like you guys have been doing amazing work. Uh, us at JD Sports and Finish Line with Community Voices, we've been, you know, leveraging this platform to really, you know, get funding and elevate voices of, you know, important voices like yourselves or you guys like within a community. So with that said, we want to donate $5,000 to oh, wow. 1,000 ties. And we know that money is going to go a long way 
and you know create more people like Julian, you know, in a, in right. a world. <laughs> and then Julians, more Julians create more Julians, and we come mm-hmm. that amazing team, the kind of energy we need in our community. So definitely kudos to you guys. And thank uh, you so much. Thank you. thank you. Yeah, of course. And um, I mean, that's a wrap for our conversation. I'll let you guys have like the last, you know, closing words. Um, I would just like to say, you know, for anyone that is interested in helping or, you know, reaching back, please do that. Our youth need us. Um, we can't, you know, fault them for things that they have not been taught. So mm-hmm. it's up to us to have that village mentality and be a piece to the puzzle. For sure. My last words would be just uh, take things little by little. Um, I live by that. You know, things don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. It might not happen in five years, but if you keep getting it done little by little, it'll happen. So just trust in what you believe in and make it happen. Do it little by little. Absolutely. Great words. So yeah, that's a wrap. Thank you guys again. A thousand times, everybody. Appreciate it. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.